Happy Monday morning, everyone. Today, I'm starting off another work week in my life type 1 diabetes vlog. And I've done a few of these before, so if you're interested in seeing more, I'll put them up here for you guys. But this is not going to be your typical work week in my life. Um, as you can see, I'm not at work. I'm in my attic, actually. And this is where I'm doing my work. And I've been working from home for the past week. This is my sixth day of working from home. And I think we can all know why. I am social distancing. I'm in self-isolation because of the current global pandemic that's going on. I feel like we see so much of this in the media and it's really making us have a lot of anxiety globally. So I wanna keep this vlog light and positive and just show my current work week situation working from home. But at the same time, I want to address this because we're all going through this. This is really affecting all of us. But even before I chat about that, I'm sitting here with my tea and I feel a tear and I'm just wanting to check out what's going on. Oh no. Yeah, so I'll show you what's going on. So my pump site has been pulled and it is like hanging by thread. Cool, cool, cool. Time to change that. <laughs> So it is 8.54, I'm gonna log on to work because I don't wanna be late for work since I'm not even commuting. That's one good thing about working from home is there is no subway commute. I actually canceled my monthly subway pass so that saves me about 160 to 170 dollars a month so there's a positive and I can sleep later now. I just kinda of have to roll out of bed, make myself somewhat presentable and then get to work. So I just logged on and I realized that my meeting's not till 9.30 and it doesn't look like I have any work on me right now so we can chat for a couple more minutes before I kind of get into work. So you guys all know what's going on obviously. We're in a global pandemic so Monday, March 9th, I got a message from work saying that we are now all working from home and at the time like it wasn't really as bad as it is now it's really escalated over the past week so we were kind of like mm, okay fine whatever we'll work from home but it was a little bit concerning we didn't really understand why we were already going to that stage but something that i'm realizing now is like i work in the health field so my work was just like really on top of things and they understood that this is a matter of public health and we all need to stay in to prevent this from getting really bad like it has in some other countries so i'm really really grateful that my work is on top of things and like allowing us to work from home. I fully understand that this is not the case for everyone and I know a lot of you guys watching out there are not able to do this. I know especially people that work like in retail, in banks, especially healthcare workers, you guys are really the heroes in this and I have so much appreciation for you guys and all that you're doing right now. Where I'm at right now with this is I'm not panicking. I know it's gonna be okay, but I know in order for it to be okay, we really all need to do our part and just stay in as much as we possibly can. I live with type 1 diabetes, it's a chronic disease, so that leaves me immunocompromised and therefore I am at higher risk when it comes to COVID. I'm not particularly worried about this because I am pretty well controlled with respect to my blood sugar. I eat healthy, I exercise regularly. The reason I'm being so careful is more like for everyone else, I would say. I am being careful for myself, of course, because I am immunocompromised, but like my main goal of staying inside and social distancing is just to protect all of those others out there that are far worse off than myself. I have a few more diabetes supplies than I normally do, but I'm not hoarding. It's a matter of like acting reasonably and responsibly during these times. So anyways, those are my two cents on the whole COVID situation. I feel like, yeah, we're all in this together. I know it's scary having type one, having a, any chronic illness and thinking about getting COVID. Um, but you just have to take all the precautions you can and try not to panic because I think that is like the worst thing you can do in this situation. Let's do a quick blood sugar check before I start. So I'm 5.7 and dropping and my basal IQ has turned on to prevent this from going low. All right, morning of work's going well. I'm just checking my blood sugar here. Basil IQ is clearly doing the trick because my blood sugar is stable at 5.2. However, I'm feeling like pretty hungry and getting a few symptoms of having low blood sugar. I might just be hungry, who knows, but I'm gonna go with my gut and just 
test my blood sugar manually and the off chance that my Dexcom might be wrong because I mean, it does happen. Technology is not perfect. So let's go do that and see what I am. The glucometer is in my bedroom. So I'm gonna go downstairs. <laughs> So my glucometer says 4.9, my Dexcom says 5.2. So it's actually pretty close. I'm heating up my lunch. My husband Rafi's also working from home status. And I am just having leftovers from last night, from last night's dinner, just some pasta. And it's 30 grams of carbs. We're getting very sick of cooking. So we're trying to make sure that when we cook, we have leftovers. Afternoon update, I am still working. I don't have a lot of work to do today though, so it's been a little bit slow and my blood sugar is high. I am at 12.3 and rising. I'm gonna give some insulin. I'm gonna give a correction on my pump and also do a few like push-ups and sit-ups. Just try to get a little bit active this afternoon. Maybe go up and down the stairs a few times. It can be challenging to stay active when you are at home all day, but it's totally doable. So I'm just gonna take a quick like five minute break from work. Just get a little bit active and see if that helps to bring my blood sugar down. That is a wrap on day six of work from home for me. Day two for you. How are you feeling about it? I guess it's starting to get kind of lonely. Well, I'm here. Yeah, I know, but we're isolated from I the know. rest of the I think we'll be fine. We're doing well so far. We just need to stay positive. Tonight for dinner, we're making a chickpea couscous salad. Or quinoa. Quinoa salad. Hopefully this vlog isn't like super, super boring, but we'll see how it turns out. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day seven of work from home. It's a pretty gloomy, dreary day out. So I don't know if I'm gonna really like go outside at all today. Something I didn't show yesterday is I do go for walks regularly. So I went for a walk during my lunch break yesterday and then I went for a walk right after work yesterday. I just didn't show it because I obviously don't wanna show my neighborhood in the vlog, but that is something I'm doing regularly to keep active on top of doing like little exercises in home like you saw yesterday. I think it's like really important to stay active during this time because we're so sedentary now. Like I went from doing like a pretty big commute to not doing my commute at all. So I found that I require more insulin in the morning now just because I'm not walking as much as I used to. I'm just basically getting out of bed and going to my computer and working. Definitely an adjustment period, but totally doable. This morning I'm about to get to work. I have a nine o'clock meeting again, but I need to put tape on my Dexcom site. So for my Dexcom, if you've seen my video on how I keep it on for 10 days, I'll put it up here for you guys. If you haven't, I usually start off by having an IV 3000 on for like, four, five days, and then it starts to peel off. Then I take that off and replace it with another tape, either another IV 3000 or something else. I'm riding at a stable 8.8, .8, and I'm fine with that. And I have some insulin on board from breakfast, so might come down from that. And yeah, gonna get to work. Hope you guys are doing well. We're getting really close to lunchtime. I've been working pretty steadily this morning. Work is definitely a welcome distraction right now. My blood sugar has been in range all morning. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Crazy times we're living in. I'm finding I have to limit my media intake just because I do find I get really like overwhelmed and I start feeling a lot of anxiety. When I do look at the media a lot, obviously it's really important for us to like keep up and stay informed but when it becomes obsessive, like obsessively checking the news, it gets to be overwhelming. So just a tip, if you guys are experiencing a lot of anxiety, just like limit how much you look at the news. Let's go eat lunch. Excuse this outfit. It is my work from home outfit, I guess, my house coat. Yep, you guessed it, leftovers. And we have not measured out this quinoa, but luckily I've had this many times, so I can do a pretty good assessment of how much I would bolus for this. Maybe like 40 to 50 grams of carbs for that, I'd say. Okay, I'm all done lunch and I'm technically still on my lunch break. So what I'm doing now is I have my little journal here that my friend Abby actually gave me for my birthday this year. And I've made up an isolation list of things that I wanna do while we're in isolation, like things that I've kind of been putting off and things that need to get done around the house. Um, 
So like just a few chores here. Um, I have that I want to make granola bars because I haven't for a long time. So I'm going to make sure I have like all the ingredients I need for whenever our next grocery run is. Something else I want to start doing is maybe like sign up for some online classes, like do some online yoga or Pilates or something since I'm cooped up. Also in this journal, I have like an exercise slash physio routine for me to do and I do it every single night, like without fail. This is just to take care of myself. Like it's very light and quick. And I think I'll stop vlogging for today just because like honestly, every day is very similar and I don't want to bore you guys. So I'll see you guys in a bit. from home and day 10 of isolation. I just squeezed in a quick Pilates class before I start work this morning. A lot of Pilates instructors, yoga instructors, dance teachers, their businesses are shut down so they're doing Pilates on Instagram and on YouTube. So if you're interested in doing any online classes, definitely check out all of the local studios near you and see if they're running online classes. I'm not gonna vlog today because it's gonna be the same as yesterday and the day before. I definitely wanna keep producing content during this time because I know a lot of us are stuck inside and it's getting to be isolating and lonely. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments. Comment down below, how are you doing where you are? What is it like in your country? Are you still going to work? Are you staying at home? Have you been sick? Let me know, I wanna hear from you guys. I would love to like keep in touch and connect during this time. I feel like it's so important that we are there for each other to support one another. And yeah, keep an eye on this channel because I have lots of ideas popping into my head and I'm writing them down for isolation type videos for you guys to keep you entertained and to also give you some ideas on how to stay healthy physically and mentally during this time. I wish you guys a very healthy and happy day. Bye.